Down this road beyond the gates, a hot spot of chemicals buried deep underground, formerly the Seba Geige plant. At one point, it was the largest uh, provider of jobs in Tom's River Township. Decades of polluting made 166 acres a Superfund site or unusable until now. When I heard about the uh, uh, solar panel, I thought, boy, what a perfect uh, type of an operation. Shown here is the state's largest solar farm owned by DSM in Belvedere, New Jersey. A company called EDF Renewables is now applying to put similar panels in Tom's River, which would make this Superfund site the state's biggest and one of the nation's largest green power sources. My committee will not endorse anything. Mm -hmm. However, anything that will lend to something positive for the environment and safe to this community, we think is a good idea. Linda Gillick is chair of the Citizens Action Committee of a Childhood Cancer Cluster. It formed decades ago after more than 200 children were diagnosed in Tom's River, including Gillick's son. But this is not the only site where carcinogens have been found. I can't say definitively. You have to understand that in our drinking water, they identified over six to 700 different chemicals. That is not normal. Gillick says she was assured the solar plant would not disturb contaminated soil and it would operate unmanned, monitored by people away from the site. The plans are still in review by state and federal environmental protection agencies. Then they'll have to meet some more conditions set by the town before heading to the zoning board and getting construction permits. In Toms River, I'm Christy Duffy, PIX11 News.